In this Accra hospital, Dr Tagbo treats many of the 200 Ghanaian children diagnosed with cancer each year. So you got some blood yesterday, did you not? Yes. Yeah. Ghana's five-year survival rate for children with okay. cancer is around 30 per cent, three times lower than in Europe. Diagnoses are often delayed and access to treatment is difficult. And a lack of clinical trials has hindered progress. Unfortunately, we don't have a lot of that going on right now in sub-Saharan Africa to help us know, number one, what is even the genetic landscape of our cancers within the sub-region, what treatment protocols will work better for our children within the sub-regions. Only 3% of genetic data collected by researchers around the world come from African patients, while 80% comes from Caucasians. Yao Beriako and his team are trying to close this gap. I think today we have samples from uh, liver cancer patients. With its African Cancer Atlas project, this biotech company has already collected DNA samples from 2,000 cancer patients from nine African countries. The samples are stored in these refrigerators. The African Cancer Atlas project is born out of the recognition that there is very little genomic data for cancers for African people. It hurts people all over the world because as a human race, our species evolved from the African continent. So if we have more diverse data from Africa, it actually benefits people all over the world. Once collected, the genetic data is sequenced in this laboratory so that it can be interpreted. With this particular sample, uh, we are hoping to find out genetic mutations and hopefully that will um, help us to discover um, um, targets for therapies for this patient. Yumachi aims to collect 15,000 DNA samples, corresponding to over 7,000 patients across the continent. Hope for the 700,000 Africans who die of cancer every year.